terminating a fiber optic cable with an ST connector. The first thing we're going to do is prepare our workstation by putting on our fiber optic disposable disc with the sticky side up, followed by putting the applicator tip onto our adhesive. After putting the applicator tip on, make sure to put the plastic cap on top. We're now going to be using our cable jacket stripper to strip off about 6 to 8 inches of cable jacket off of our building cable. After stripping it, we're going to be removing the cable jacket and then separating the aramid from the individual optical fibers. After that, we're going to cut the aramid, leaving us only with the fiber optic cables exposed. You're then going to be able to choose any one of the six colors of your choice. I chose green as my fiber optic cable for this demonstration. We're now going to tie one end of our fiber optic cable into a knot. Now do not do too much because we will be cutting this off at the end. We're now going to be putting on our boot and having the knot on the other end is going to prevent the boot from coming off. We're now going to be stripping the cable jacket off of our fiber optic cable. You're going to want to do little bits at a time, ending off with exposing about one to one and a half inches of exposed clean fiber. Using the bottom hole, you'll be able to strip off the buffer, allowing you to get to only exposed fiber. We're now going to want to use one of our alcohol pads to clean off any remaining buffer. We're now going to test fit our fiber optic cable. So while doing this, you're going to want to make sure that it goes all the way through cleanly. Now we're going to be putting about four or five drops of adhesive into our ST connector. Again, do not forget to put the plastic cap back on top of your adhesive. After doing that, we're going to be applying the primer to our fiber optic cable. We're going to be putting it on both the cable jacket as well as on the exposed fiber itself. And after doing this, do not forget to put the cap back onto your primer. Now, similar to our test fit, we're going to be placing our fiber optic cable all the way through our ST connector and then letting it sit for about 30 seconds before cleaving it. Now as you can see when you cleave it, you're just going to want to slightly score the fiber and then just pull it right off. After cleaving it, we're going to be putting the boot onto our ST connector. We will now be air polishing using our red polishing film. We will be doing between 20 and 25 figure eights. Air polishing is shown. After that, we're going to be using one of our alcohol pads to clean off our termination tray to ensure that there are no fiber optic scraps or any other residue on our trays. Now, using the red polishing film, we're going to start off on the black pad 
and then using our polishing puck we're going to be inserting our connector and then doing again 20 to 25 figure eights as shown Next, we will be doing the white polishing film on the white pad. And then again, doing 20 to 25 figure eights. After that, we'll be switching to our pink polishing film, again on the white pad, and doing 20 to 25 figure eights. Finally, we'll be using the blue polishing film on the white pad, again finishing up with doing 20 to 25 figure eights. Now after completing the polishing, we'll again be using one of our alcohol wipes, but this time we'll be cleaning off our ST connector tip to make sure that there is no residue on it. After cleaning off your tip, you're going to be putting on the dust cover. Now before starting your next side, don't forget to cut off the knot to make sure that you have a good fiber the whole way through. 